I feel like we're getting spoiled with Raptors lately. We have the Ford F-150 Raptor, of course, and then we have the Ford Bronco Raptor, and then the Ford F-150 Raptor R with the proper V8. And we're also gonna get the 2023 Ranger Raptor here in the US, and that's a truck that I'm really excited about. So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna compare the design of these trucks, uh, the Ford F-150 Raptor, compare it to the Ranger Raptor in the front, side, and of course the rear, and also have a look at the interior. So let's start with some of the basic, basic spec and tech of these two trucks. The 2022 Ford F-150 Raptor is powered by a 3.5 liter, 450 horsepower twin turbo V6. As I said, the Raptor R is going to have a V8. The normal Raptor can be fitted with 37 inch tires. However, it's gonna cost you an additional $10,000. So the price will jump from $70,000 to $80,000 if you want the 37 inch tires. And I think they look pretty good, but I would probably be happy with the 35 inch tires as well. It also looks like they fill out the wheelhouses properly. And the 2023 Ranger Raptor will feature a twin turbo three liter V6, making 392 horsepower and has 33 inch tall tires looks decent on the Ranger Raptor it will cost you around forty five to fifty thousand dollars so let's have a look at these two designs I think generally Ford is currently crushing it with their designs and with the exception of the Ford Mustang Mach-E I still don't like that design really I've seen it so many times now and it's not it's just not growing on me I, I don't know what it is I think it has to do a lot with the wheels but anyway that's not what we're talking about in this uh, video up here we have the 2023 Ford Ranger Raptor it's actually coming to the US I'm really happy about that the previous Ranger Raptor as you know did not make it over here so this is big news from Ford but I think Ford is currently crushing it specifically with their identity in the front end. We have, this is like a typical um, uh, example of when you have a smaller sibling of, of a similar type of car, you can stylize them more because uh, the smaller the car, the more stylized and the more fun, the less stately it needs to be. And I think that's what's going on here with the Ford uh, Ra Ranger comparing it to the Raptor. I really like the front end graphics because in the, in the normal ra uh, Ranger, we have this rubber band that I talked about this sticks up all the way to this point right here and I made a redesign of that kind of what I wanted to see changed in the in the Ford Ranger and those are basically the changes that they did here in the Ranger Raptor for example we now have a body panel colored panel that sticks all the way from one end all the way to the other and creates almost like a, a uh, bumper or a base for the beautiful graphics that we have in the grill we also have the traditional by by now I would say for the lettering spelled out right here in the middle of the grill and everything seems to be pretty much in line in the front end graphics we do have a very rugged lower part of the front end and we have this skid plate down here in silver which I think is a good touch by Ford to separate this color it kind of makes it look more purposeful and it makes it look like they really want to show everybody that this is not just a normal ra ranger this is actually the raptor and having a contrast color for the skid plate down here i think that looks really cool i do like these uh, headlights and the graphics that we have inside here this led however i, I think i made in the redesign i think i pushed this lower part a little further so it was almost in line with the top part something like this maybe make it a little thicker because here we have a thickness and then it kind of becomes narrow here it creates a bit of an identity for the Ranger but I also would like to have a little bit of a thicker LED down at the bottom looking at the Ford F-150 Raptor and this is what I'm uh, what I'm talking about when I say uh, the bigger the model the less stylized you can see that we have in the Ranger we have these dips here for example in, in the connection from the headlights to the grill but we don't have that in the Ranger in, in the Ford F-150 it's a straight clean cut line and this big chamfer that I love on the Ford F-150 Ra uh, Raptors when they put this they've had this since the first generation this big chamfer right here emphasizing the added width 
to the uh, to the Raptor model over the regular Ford F-150 and this then since it's this much wider that requires that we have these positioning lights or, or center lights in the middle here because of regulations if you have a certain width of your of the vehicle is a certain width you need to add these lights in the middle which I think adds to the overall design and I also love that these lights are in line with the LEDs so you can see that it has a straight line going all across the top of the front end and then creating this nice looking graphic in the F-150 LEDs. But what I don't like about the front end of the F-150 compared to the normal F-150 is that in the normal one you have these lights kind of continuing in in the in the lower part of the bumper and creating a little bit of a, a LED that goes something like this but in the Raptor it, these look purposeful and they probably very very functional and lights up uh, the road ahead of you when you need it but I think this looks a little bit uh, aftermarket-ish for me because I don't think these uh, squares they, f they don't really fit in the housing of the square itself it's a small detail but that's what we're talking about here on this channel is all these design uh, features and graphic features of the cars so that's one thing that I prefer actually the normal uh, F-150 over the the Raptor model but you can see just how clean this design is a lot of horizontal lines emphasizing the width even more than if we were to have some uh, crazy styling going on right here we also have the skid plate just like we have on the Ranger in a different color so this is silver but I think it, it kind of looks I think the, the more simplistic design of the skid plate of the Ranger Raptor looks maybe a little better than the F-150. I'm gonna let you know which one I would pick at the end of this video. Imagine being able to sketch anything you want with pen and paper and get the proportions and perspective right every single time. That's what I teach my students inside my online course, Analog Designer Pro Pack. You learn everything from what basic tools to use in your sketching, how to get the perspective right using my unique cloud sketching technique, and how to nail the proportions of your car and product sketches by implementing something I call the box sliding technique. These classes have helped thousands of students all over the world quickly improve their sketching and once you go through the course and actually take it step by step you'll be able to see your own sketching skills shoot up to a new level. So click the link in the description or go to analogdesignerpropack.com to see everything you get access to inside and check out the results my students are getting by implementing these techniques. And as a bonus I'll even walk you through my two portfolios that got me into a master's degree in automotive design in Italy and also landed my first job as a designer. It's priceless if you're looking to become a professional designer. So click the link below or go to analogdesignerpropack.com today to learn more. I'll see you on the inside. Let's have a look at the side view. What I love about Ford trucks these days is that they have this very typical three box design when it comes to their trucks. What I mean by that, I've talked about that before we have a clean uh, clearly defined front box right here with the engine and then we have the greenhouse being another box and then the bed of course being the third box right here and this is if you want to learn how to sketch trucks this is a very good example to take uh, as a reference either the Ranger or the F-150 to start creating some truck sketches by just creating these boxes and then you just cut this corner and you have the greenhouse going back and the, uh, the rest is pretty much just boxes with circles in them as you can see and then you have a truck sketch then you can start to define your own design maybe uh, angle this front end a little bit more or do whatever you want but I do like the styling in here we have this line connecting the box number three with box number two and that is this line that cuts into the body right here it looks really nice I like this uh, design and it creates some line flow in the truck design it's pretty uncommon to see uh, connections between these three boxes in truck designs and I think Ford is doing a great job uh, by uh, by adding this line here and then we have the greenhouse line and then this upswing right here in the in the back creating some sort of movement forward movement in the greenhouse graphics which I also like the wheels here as you can see they are 33 inch which means that they're not the biggest tires you can get but they still are the same tires as for example the Ram Rebel comes as stock and the Rebel is a bigger truck than the uh, Range Ranger Raptor so I think I still think they fit pretty well but I would love to see uh, the Ranger Raptor with 35 inch tall tires so I think that would maybe reduce the wheel gap here and then also have a leveling kit on this so we have the same uh, distance in the front that we have in the rear right here and not have this rake going down like that looking at the 37 
inch tall tires equipped Ford F-150 uh, Raptor down here. This is just a gorgeous looking truck. Same thing here, we have the three box designs as you can see clearly defined, a little less stylized in the, in the curvature, specifically right here in the greenhouse. I would say this is more raked and more of a sharp corner up here, which I think suits the F-150. We have the typical F-150 dip right here to increase visibility when you sit in here. You have a clearer visibility down here because you have more glass surface area to look out from with this piece right here, which is a trademark, I would say, for the F-150 going back uh, decades. And then, of course, the 37-inch tires right here just look super beefy, but look how close it is. Blood height tolerances when you have the 37-inch tires, and they just look really good, and they fill out the wheelhouse, wheelhouses properly, as you can see. We don't have the same kind of line flow that we have in the Ranger right here in the center of the truck. We do have this line right here, but as you can see, it stops right here. It doesn't continue into box number two right here. And we also don't really have a connection with box number one going into box number two. But at the same time, it feels like it's, su it's more suitable to have uh, less styling in the F-150 because as I talked about it's the big brother and that means we should have less styling in there. Last but not least before we have a look at the interior we need to look at the rear view as well. This is where I think the Ranger really shines. I think it looks great in a rear view. We do have some more styling in the uh, tailgate right here as you can see and these taillights I'm not sure if these are smoked for the Raptor but they look a lot darker than the regular Ranger and I think this really looks good adds more of a sinister look to the Ranger Raptor I think it looks really good and what I love about all Raptor designs is that we have these two bazooka tailpipes symmetrical on each side simple design a straight pipe two pipes uh, sticking out which is exactly the way I would like to have my trucks. I really like the size of the Ranger. It's not too big like uh, the, the Ford F-150 Raptor. It's bigger, but the F-150 is still not a huge truck. We still have the 250, for example, and the 350. And then we have the same kind of bazooka tailpipes, as you can see down here. And this is not the 37-inch uh, tall tires. These are the 35s. You can see the difference here from the uh, side view in the 37, when they really are super close close to the fenders. Here we have a little bit more gap between them. I think it looks good in a 37, uh, 35 too. I think I would personally probably go with the 35 inch tires because they're big enough and also it's gonna help probably with the with the fuel efficiency of the truck. I do love that we have this uh, chamfer going into the tailgate right here and then continuing as the wide body kit like we have, you know, uh, almost like a factory fitted wide body kit that we have on these uh, F-150 uh, Raptors that goes all around here and then continues in, continues in the bottom of the deck lid as well and then of course wraps around in the other side as well. Last but not least, let's have a look at the interior here before I let you know which one I would personally buy. I love both these interiors. I think Ford has really stepped it up specifically in the F-150, the latest generation. Let's start with the uh, Ranger Raptor. We have a uh, vertically um, mounted screen in the middle infotainment screen and we have an all digital gauge cluster right there and this is as you can see we have a nice housing for this is a pretty traditional design and not just an iPad slapped on top right here and I prefer this layout a lot better than the iPad layout it's a pretty simple design very straight lines and I also like the red um, accent color around the air vents here for example and also down here on the seats in this specific trim the wrap trim looking at the steering wheel it says Raptor down here which I also like it kind of reminds you that you're sitting in a special Ranger it's not just a normal Echo Boost Ranger that you're driving now going down to the Ford F-150 Raptor down here this is a super clean interior we now have the uh, the uh, infotainment screen being horizontal right here and this massive protective aluminum bar or something that wraps across this looks like it needs to be there for like added protection or something it just makes it look a lot more rugged than the Ranger up here we still have the same kind of layout with the center screen being detached from the digital gauge cluster right here which is all digital as you can see we also have the same kind of steering wheel design with the Raptor uh, spelled out at the bottom of the steering wheel and I love that we have this center point 
of the steering wheel up here really hammering in that this is a sporty version of the F-150 and it also says Raptor here on the armrest as you can see in the middle. So which one of these would I personally buy? The thing is it's such a big uh, price difference between these two so I would probably go with the smaller more nimbler Ford Ranger uh, Raptor here and I'm really excited that it comes to the US and I think that would just be the perfect little performance truck to take out and go have some fun on the off-road trails and for $50,000 I really think this is a really good deal and it's also a very good looking truck overall just a regular Ranger uh, not the Raptor but when you add the sportiness of the Raptor and the wheels and the uh, smoke taillights and all of that uh, details and specifically the styling in the front end that doesn't have that rubber band that the normal Ranger has I think that steps it up to another level thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video